Just comment. Let's all go to the live. All right. I believe we are live. So, hello. What's up hello. there, uh, Kiss Army and Loudcasters and Growing Up Rockers and Potter Than Hellers? I don't know what, what, what you guys call Hellions. it. Hellions. Hellions. Hello. As Steve, as Steve would say, there's Murph. There's Murph. He's first. As Steve would say, do you even listen to the show? <laughs> Murph was Sorry, a jerk. I wasn't paying attention because I was starting the opening. <laughs> All right. Well, thank everybody for joining us tonight. And uh, we are here with Grown Up Rock Podcast. We are here with Potter Than Hell Podcast. And we are doing a fantasy draft style game. Tom, what are we doing this time? So we're going to do a draft of consisting of all 12 of the Shout It Out Loudcast bonus episodes. So we started this last year with uh, Sonny. Uh, once a month, we do a non-KISS album review. So far, we've done 12 albums, and we will be doing a live draft of that. So there's six of us here. Everybody here is going to take at least one song from each album. So that'll give everybody 12 picks. And then everybody else is also going to take three wild card picks. So for a total of 15 picks each. Um, and again, the draft format or the draft strategy is, is exactly that. It's a strategy. It's not necessarily taking your favorite song first. You have to look at the albums that are out there. You have to look at your audience. Um, I mean, not your audience, but like your, the other, the other five guys for me, like I know what Sonny likes and what he doesn't like. I know what Steve likes and doesn't like. So there's might be some songs that I'm not going to take first, um, you know, because there's no need to, because I know those guys may never take them. Although Sonny Pooney always screws up with the drafts and takes pictures <laughs> screw people. Uh, and by the way, we've lost Stephen Michael from the Grown Up Rock podcast. And we got a lot prettier in one fell swoop. <laughs> <laughs> Off with their heads. So what did, he right. what did he trip over his cable? How, what, what, what are we doing here? Now hang up on righty and this, this thing's really <laughs> looking good. What the fuck did I do? <laughs> well, I will tell you guys, uh, so far, uh, we're off to a flying hot start because we're missing one guy. Oh, shit. There he is. Maybe I should let him in instead of uh, fucking around with my shit on my phone. Huh? There he is. Pooney unplugged me on purpose. Fuck you, Pooney. <laughs> the sad part begins. Hey, Brad Rustoven said, hey, gentlemen, Bucks and Saints and you guys. Yes, Brad, I'm actually watching that game right next to my laptop. I have the Me game too. streaming right here, so we'll be paying attention to that. I'm dedicated fully to this live stream. I don't know, you know. You're not distracted by anything? No. Nope. Okay. All right. Zero Certainly not football. Okay. Yeah, Jeff, I'm not with you guys. I'm, 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 kind, I'm not watching. I, I can tell from you guys what's happening. I'm focused like a laser. I've got my lucky shirt on. And I will show it with you guys in a little bit. What's that face for there, Steve? So your laser so focus. Is, so I this am. is a serious, this is a, a joke by Jack Panacchio, but it actually brings up a good point. He says, Are we going with Zeus's draft rules, picking wild cards first? So he brings <laughs> up a good point. You can pick whatever you want. So say say like White Snake Slide It In is like your favorite album out of all 12 albums. Your first three picks could be off of White Snake Slide It In. So that's yeah, you and I gotta jump in on that. Fuck Chris. Oh, oh no, Chris was right. Chris was right. He's I not agree. right. That's yes, not the rules. He was right. That's what you said. That's what you said. You no, said that's it. what you, you had said. You, you, <laughs> no, you said so. That's not what I said. That's garbage. He he was God. just being Daddy Jericho again, bitching at us and reprimand us and sending us to our room. That's nonsense. Yes, we can go off the board. You don't have to go by any order. Right. You can pick your wild cards, like Tom said. So everything's there. The only one album that's a caveat is um, Jar of Flies, because there's only seven songs. Thank, Thank God. God. <laughs> <laughs> that was this is going to start off great. Let's see. <laughs> All right. First, we're going to do the randomizer so we can see what order we're going to get. So, in other words, Sonny's going to pick himself first, as always. <laughs> Go, buddy. You're up. <laughs> all right. Can you see that? No. Nope. 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 Not at all. Good. <laughs> Perfect. Not, that was the plan. It's good that you can't see it. No. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking brick you're carrying there. Dylan's first. Dylan's no way. first. Uh-oh. Okay. Righty second. This is bullshit already. <laughs> I'm third. Oh, I lost. I know Tommy's fourth. 
Perfect. Yeah. I like it. Sweet spot. Zeus is fifth. Stephen oh. Michael sixth. At least I get a double pick at the oh, end. Gonna, this is, double, double double pick. Who's who's two and three? Because I couldn't hear it. This is bullshit. You too. Sonny's three. Um, I'm going to write down what Sonny's going to pick, okay? Right now, I, I'm telling you. I know what he's, he's going to do. He's, he's here to sabotage the draft for everybody else. Exactly. <laughs> I know what he's going to do. I know I'm going to get stuck with the last song on Jar of Flies, which is ridiculous. Hey, hey so we actually have a favorite. You we actually know? have someone watching us here. His name is Philippe Melander, and he says, this is the first time I've seen your faces. Wow, he made sorry. Hey. <laughs> sorry. Hopefully you haven't gone blind from it. <laughs> we I can turn are off my sorry, sorry. I gotta I gotta show everybody the shirt before oh, yeah. we start. So if you listen to us, then you know this is my floor hockey shirt. That's why it's a it's very snug for me from college that I still have that was team that me and Tommy were on. The pita, <laughs> it lives. It's a little the sticky. back's cut out of it, but you know whatever. Yeah. It's, it's a, a little zipper. sticky, but it's like a Johnny. It's like a hospital Johnny now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Let me share my screen here. Um, Tommy, you'll be hitting handling comments tonight for us. Sure. So we'll, we'll start let's say hello to everybody. Yeah, Mur uh, Murph said Jericho's not here to yell at Zeus. Um, Daniel People says he's waiting for Jericho to run in. It's too bad we couldn't have scheduled him to pop in just for a just to yell at the rules, but I don't think that's going to happen tonight. So we'll see what happens. Yes, All right, Zeus. Yes, Brad. Brad. I can share my screen there. Yes, Brad. Birth ritual will not be on the board. Oh. Ooh. Ah. All right. Look at that colors. You like that? All right, you Dylan. Colors. It's all you. Dylan, okay. first pick. A lot of pressure. Uh, first time doing the draft here on live stream, so I want to start it off right. Going to okay. pick a song off of the singles soundtrack. I'm going with Birth Ritual. Whoa. Oh, that song damn. kicked out. Punch guy. I like there it. You, Finally there you go, Brad. Guy. <laughs> I didn't even get to it. <laughs> the number Best one overall trip. That's Boom. a good song. I like it. Very That's impressive. Pick, great Dylan. song. Awesome. All right, righty. I really don't like Dylan. Sorry, buddy. All right. Um, I got to go with no excuses because it's like maybe the only song I like off of Garifies. Oh, now, see, that's good strategy. That's good strategy. That's yep. exactly you do this. Yep. It's the only one I like. Terrible yep. strategy. Well, I stay away. I like two, but yeah, it's good. It won't be a bonus one. That's good strategy. I don't like the two right brothers. I'm gonna uh, brothers, father and son combination. <laughs> I'm gonna get fucking rid of them. Do I look that old? Uh there's no way I'm waiting on Jar of Flies, so I'm going with Don't Follow. Really? He's such a fucking cunt. Who <laughs> <laughs> is Okay, so now what's happening here is this is kind of like we always make the analogy. It's like in the fantasy run. football when there's a run on tight ends. <laughs> oh, right. There's Tommy, not going to be any left. Likes so, tight ends. so I got to go with I stay away. God he damn it. You guys are going to stick me with shit. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen because there's only seven songs. And they're all crap just about. That's what you get for doing an EP. I know. That's good. Well, yeah, we weren't. We never. Whoever knew would be doing a bonus album draft with this. We, we never knew. That's it. I'm shutting this off. Good night. <laughs> Next time we'll have a few new people on. Shut it down. Are you kidding me? All right, Zeus. You these pieces of shit know because they've had my list because we've already ranked these songs. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I didn't go my by two that. Top five songs are gone. Zeus, just do it like in just do it like in fantasy football. Just punt it. Treat it like a no, kicker. no, 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 no. Uh, I'm gonna be a fucking dick. Uh, my first song is Sonny's number one pick because he's a prick. I'm taking the trooper from him. How's that? Oh. <laughs> Fuck you. That's well, I like it. So it's turning into an angry draft. Okay. Every song on that record. You took is his life good. and he took yours too. Exactly, Dylan. Yes. So it's my turn. I'm definitely taking something off a of jar of flaws. Give me a 
God, you guys took all the good stuff. Give me rotten apples. Oh, all right. Okay. We, we, we got, we have, rotten apples. There's an apple if you well, want. Give me apples, that rotten one. Well, give me the rotten one. Okay, Zeus, we just got our great, the greatest compliment we've ever gotten. We have a comment here that says, wow, this is way more professional than three sides of the coin. <laughs> well, that's because no one's eating. <laughs> I don't Hold on, let me grab some shit. An insult or what that is. I don't either, but I like it. Well, maybe it's because we're not fucking eating a bunch of hoagie sandwiches in the middle of it. <laughs> that's what Righty just said. <laughs> All right, SM, it's you. Uh, I get another one. I'll take King Nothing. What? Oh, King Nothing. King Nothing. King Nothing. Okay. Is that in English? What do you pick? His King mic Nothing. cut out on him. King Nothing. I gotta pick something that you guys will pick. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Defense. <laughs> exactly. I Purple will... Haze is there. <laughs> There's two Hendrix songs there, and they both suck. Boom Man is there. You should take it. Oh, I will <laughs> take uh, Slow and Easy. Hmm. Wow. See, my strategy is like the exact opposite. Because I know they're not going to take my other high picks. You don't think so. I don't <laughs> care if you do, because the albums are still good, so there's more songs on them. You All already right. fucked me, so what do I give a shit? Okay, so for <laughs> me, so, so now I have to look at the 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 album with the fewest good songs on it, and that is clearly peace of mind. I'm sorry, <laughs> oh, you're high. No, no, I'm taking, uh, no, I'm taking Sun and Steel with my second pick. Oh my god, the fewest <laughs> good songs on it. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit. I gotta get I gotta get uh, I gotta get a winger song. You didn't pick Quest for Fire? Oh yeah, that's what I'm afraid I'll be stuck with Steve. Because clearly <laughs> there were far more good songs on Jar of Flaws. Quest for Fire. Yeah, all, you took all the words made in songs of all time. Yeah, yeah, Dylan, Quest for Fire is like, is I li the first time I heard that, I literally laughed out loud. I'm like, he's listening about fucking dinosaurs right when now. When you start with, with uh, in a time where the dinosaurs walked the earth, <laughs> you'll lose me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I went with Icarus because I don't want to get stuck with Quest for see? Fire either. See, I told that's what, see, you, you get afraid of these albums, they make you nervous. That's right. All right, Righty. Okay, Righty is going with the song title track, Super Unknown. Mm -hmm. Oh, Righty's getting his grunge out of the way first. Yeah, I don't blame <laughs> him. That's, That's a good strategy, Steve-O. I'm, yeah, I'm with you on that strategy. It would have been a good idea, but whatever. That's like in the middle of the track, track, though. Yeah. Ugh. It's, I actually happen to like that one. I didn't pick it because I thought someone else would. I just didn't want to get it. Talent. Oh, sorry. It's a great song. That's it's one of my great. Good. Actually, I do have to say I didn't hate that album as much as I thought I was going to. All right, it's Dylan, back to back. Uh, uh, let's see. I think I'm going to get my jar of flies out of the way. I'm going to go nutshell. One there of the go. best songs on the album. Yep. Terrible. Love the unplugged version of that. Oh, that MTV I'm unplugged making a song worse. So good. How are we only just now back to Dylan? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then my second pick is going to be we're going to take a ride on the night train. Oh, wow. Okay. Breaking into appetite. To figure to get in there before. I mean, there's there's not a bad song in that album, but. I know. Exactly. That's, that's <laughs> why your strategy is flawed, Dylan. Come on. There is no, you're not looking hard Strategy? Enough. What are you talking about? <laughs> what is strategy? <laughs> All right. Righty. Okay. Um, Dylan has strict instructions to what? What? My, listen to me. What at, my funeral, Delusion. Delusion. at my funeral, when I die, he's going to oh, read oh. the lyric to the song, Revelation. <laughs> okay. I did have instructions for that. <laughs> Why? Is that because Dylan doesn't like you? He's going to do that at your funeral? No, it's That's Revelation cool. Mother Earth or Revelations? Iron Maiden Revelation. Oh, okay. Oh, the yeah. shitty version. No. <laughs> no, that song rules. What country? <laughs> One of those countries not in Boston. European bands playing. Okay, well, you guys did me a favor, so I'm going to take my singles pick and I'm going to get Wood out of the way. Nice, That's what she said. <laughs> do you do I that early in the morning? Be a number one pick. Early in the morning, Sonny. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> First thing I do. Okay, I'm next. 
Yep. Um, all right. So then that means I'm probably going to have to. I say I got to work my way backwards. So I'm going to go with. Uh, I'm going to take Roulette from Bon Jovi. Hmm. That's a good tune. Good one. Yeah, I love that. The good songs on that album are really, really good for me. The songs that aren't good are like really not good for me on that album. But I was pleasantly surprised by that. Zeusy Zeusy. Oh, here we go. Chuck Hoskins is saying that Iron Maiden's worst album is better than the best grunge album. Yes. Yeah. That's all kinds of stupid. That's just uh, terrific. No, it's not. That is correct. Chuck, yeah. we love Chuck, we love you. We love you, but that is just brutal. Take a nap. <laughs> all right. Chuck, uh, I'm, gonna better than hell. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take what Sonny called his number third song. I'm gonna take when it's love. No. Oh. But how do you know when it's love? I have Sonny's fucking selections of all these songs. That's what I'm drafting tonight. The rest Why are you going to draft like that? Because I'm going to be a fucking oh, baby about it. That's a I don't it. care. But if Sonny's picks are going to suck. <laughs> so, so then, there you go. When I'm done picking, everyone will be like, oh, you have the worst songs. Yes, I picked Sonny's. <laughs> I give credit to Sonny. He already has two Alice in Chains songs on his list out of three. That's not bad. For a guy that supposedly hates the music, right? I know. So, Sonny, give me Spoon Man. Oh, oh my God. That is, that, that is, that is in competition for the worst song out of all of these. I like, you know, like Red Zeppelin. Have you ever heard Stairway to Heaven? I like Spoon Man. <laughs> Do you like music? Cliche. <laughs> God. This and song is horrible, too. I will actually take, let me see, which one do I really want off this one? I like a lot of them. Uh, you know what? Give me, um, give me Chloe Dancer, Crown of Florence. Oh. I love that tune. Ugh. Love that it. Is eight minutes and 20 seconds full of shit. That's a fucking great song, man. Wow. Steven, very good. I'm pissed that you stole it from me, but that's, that's good. a great song. Mother that love boy, line, man. Absolutely a great All song. Right. Put it Tell back up there, Sonny. Okay. Hold on. Let me see what Sonny's next pick is. Oh, eh, I don't like that song, though. Um. <laughs> <laughs> like when it's love? <laughs> oh, my God. I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry about this. Tony just said, ugh, horrible song. And he's talking about Chloe Dancer because he's also a grunge hater. Man, been... that melody is awesome. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. What love part? It. Like the vocals, the guitar, the drums. Fucking the whole thing's awesome. Yeah, the melody's really good. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's building it up. Uh, <laughs> what, you think, Steve, you think he's being too kind by calling it meh? Way too kind. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. There's a couple other good songs on that single soundtrack I could have taken, but I like that one here a lot. Daniel Peoples had a good one. He said MLB, meaning Mother Love Bone, is as boring as MLB, meaning <laughs> Major League <laughs> Baseball. <laughs> hey, without Mother Love Bone, there would be no Pearl Jam. So Exactly, so, Dylan. The arm in that. They, oh, see, here we go. Stop it. I'm I'm willing to bet that he doesn't like uh, uh, Pearl Jam either. So I know the rest of you guys don't know the rest of these songs on there. So I'll take Runaway. <laughs> yeah, I oh, I ain't gonna give you my favorite off that record. What is uh, Stephen? My favorite's still on that record. So I'm gonna wait. All right, so I'm up. Yep. Um, Sonny, put the album the 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 draft back up. Like the other, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Uh, singles, singles. All right, you put it back to the song list, please, sir. Singles. Uh, I'm gonna take. Uh, God, this is so difficult for me, but I'm gonna take Neely. Lost you. I would have taken Chloe, but that's gone. So nearly lost you. That's a good one too. That's a screaming tree song. Yes, it is. Yep. Yeah, that's a good tune. Yep. Actually, that's one I didn't listen to because it, it wasn't on Spotify or on Apple Music. Yeah, that's good. Tune. Really? Yeah. Screaming Trees is on Apple Music. They're on there. I think it was on. It was on one of them because I definitely heard it. Yeah, it's on there. All right, I'll, maybe I'll listen to it. I'm gonna get my uh, sound garden out of the way, and I'm going with Fellow on Black Days. What do you mean, get your sound garden out of the way? 
Why do you have to say it like that? Oh, what do you pick? Fill on black days. Hmm. God. That puts righty on the clock. On the clock. He's still um, trying to figure out what you guys picked. <laughs> I know. All right, give oh. me give me uh, breath from singles. Wow. How do you even know that song? Well, because I listened to it. It was one of the few ones I actually liked. Okay. And you just dissed Pearl Jam not five minutes ago. No, I, I as a whole, but like 10 I like, and that song is good. Okay. And actually, the one you picked was, was uh, Birth Ritual. Is that? No, that's Soundgarden. That's, that's Soundgarden. Yeah. Okay. That was Great a song. Kicks ass. That maybe, was yeah, maybe, Chris, awesome. maybe Chris Cornell's most perfect vocal performance he's ever done. Yeah. All right, Dylan, back to back, baby. Okay, let's see. I think I'm going to pick from OU812, Black and Blue. Mm. Tony says, for the record, I don't hate grunge. I just hate on garbage. If that Thanks, happens to no. grunge, so be it. The okay. band oh, or garbage? garbage? I, think he's, I think he's referring to garbage, the mu like garbage music, not the band. No. Oh. So he's not <laughs> only happy with grunge. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Looking good. Oh, I like the band Garbage. Shirley Manson. Woo. Shirley Manson's great, yeah. Yeah. Looking real good. I saw them when they opened up for the the worst concert I ever saw in my life. Smashing Pumpkins. Garbage opened up for them. They were fantastic. Smashing Pumpkins were horrific. Oh, I were you surprised by that? Surprised. William Corrigan, as he goes by now. They, they played every song like five times too fast. It sounded horrible. That, was, that, was, that, was yeah, that would have got it over with quicker. Yeah, that's a good point, Steve. You're right about that. Good point. Wouldn't Billy Corrigan make the perfect Lex Luthor now? No, nah, he's too whiny. Lex Luthor is not whiny. <laughs> I don't know. Did you see Batman v Superman? <laughs> no, uh, I didn't. Was it terrible? Good? Yeah, it was, you were. Yeah, you lucked out. <laughs> Tom, you would have been a better Lex Luthor. Who's up? Oh, yeah, see? It's, it's me. I'm on my second pick. Uh, I'm going to go my wave. Oh, nice. What is it? My wave. My wave. Oh, like, we don't have to. <laughs> My way. I, I took the wheel and I did it my wave. <laughs> exactly. What is that up? Oh, super okay. unknown. Frank Sinatra's Boy, That was one that I liked too. So no, Johnny oh, Rotten's version. So we got a comment here from Joe Casaro. You guys are talking way too much 90s shit. Yuck. Well, Joe, yes. <laughs> the reason that's happening here is because oh, these guys hate grunge. So they're trying to get all their '90s grunge picks out early, so that we can get into the '80s. Yeah, that's that's my strategy. Yeah. That's the strategy. You know it. Yep. Plus, let's face it: the rest of the records just have so many good songs on them. It's easy to wait. Correct. Yeah, you got to pick a few decent ones from their shitty albums. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. I guess that's why Winger hasn't been picked yet. Jesus <laughs> right, you're up. My God. Okay. Before someone picks this. I'm gonna go two by four by Metallica. I knew you were gonna go two by four. I love yeah, that song. Great song. Yeah, I like "Ain't My Bitch." Too. The order of these songs up. Did you put them alphabetically? You didn't put them yeah. alphabetically. Yeah. Them alphabetically. Why? Why? It, it, so I can find them easier. Up. We don't care about your comfort. Don't open up your eyes, jackass. <laughs> hey. Try and do the right thing here. That's not the right thing. For I me. I was actually waiting for you to pick that. Exactly the right thing for him. That's right. That's all that matters. Sonny. All right. I'm going to take care of uh, Ozzy here. I'm going with I don't knew. Okay. Well, just let us know when you do. No problem. I'll know the minute Ozzy knows. So, what's your pick? <laughs> you took, oh, God. Good ha, ha, ha. Sonny, yeah. do you have like a laughing, like, you know, friggin' thing you can put up there for your little graphics? Uh, <laughs> no, I got the angry face, though. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. I'm going to take. Uh, God, there's a lot of albums left here that I, with, with a lot of good stuff, but I'm going to go with. Um, are you drafting the same thing we are? Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to take Rocket Queen. Rocket Queen off nice. Appetite. Solid. Yep. I can't believe the hate from so many people with grunge. It's amazing. God. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That many people with grunge? Jealous. I don't get it. I mean, I understand. I understand maybe it's like, yeah, you know, it's, I'm not crazy about it, but like the, the, the actual hatred for it is stunning. Because it took away a lot of their fucking shitty bands. 
like <laughs> one that has the whole fucking album still left. Um, <laughs> let's pick. Uh, let's take just to continue on this. Let's take a couple away from Tom before Tom gets this. Uh, let's take uh, the Outlaw Torn. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, see, that's an album. I was gonna take that, but I'm like, yeah, I could. There's a couple there's albums. There's good there. songs on that album. I, I I could take, but I know, but that stands above the rest of them. Yeah, me. that was both of our number one pick on that ranking. Yeah, oh, oh, was it? Good. Yeah, that's a good pick. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. All right, Stephen, you're back to back. All right, uh, give me "Suicide Solution" by Ozzy. Ooh, all right. And. Give me um, – yeah, I'll go ahead and take Where Eagles Dare from the Maiden record. Yikes. It's a great tune. <laughs> Can you just like Where Eagles Dare? How do you not dare? love that How tune? How dare you? God, what a – it's coming from somebody that loves Jar of Flies. Come on. Sorry. I didn't have an album on here. Like, it really Yikes. messed me up that it was Yikes. last on the list. Jar of Flies was a number one fucking album. Yeah. That's, I'm surprised when people would take that, right? Zeus, you're getting a lot, Zeus, number one. Zeus, you're getting a lot of praise for the uh, Outlaw Tone pick. A lot of people like that pick. A lot of people. It's one people. It's not a lot of people. <laughs> it's one people. Uh, um, Shut your mouth, Pooty. Let's <laughs> let's go with. You know, this is fucking me up with the order. God damn it, Pooty. Uh, Zeus is still learning the alphabet. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, there's so many good songs on Pyromania. I don't need to make a. I don't give a fuck what I get on that. Hey, Joe uh, Casaro, I love I love that Winger album. Zeus is the one who doesn't. So yeah, that Winger record's killer. I love it. Yeah, I, 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 it's a killer, right? It'll make you want to fucking kill yourself. <laughs> Jesus. That's why I haven't picked anything off of it because I can take just about anything off that record, almost. See, now yeah. I need to know. We got a comment here from Philippe saying "piece of shit." That's just the only comment, so I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> don't talking worry, about talking about the unknown. He's either talking about the album or you. <laughs> you fly shit. I'm guessing he's, think he's talking about peace of mind, maybe. I don't know. Oh, maybe instead of peace of mind, piece of shit. <laughs> I'll take the second best song left on uh, Super Unknown. Tom, what is that? Like Suicide. There you go. Yep. I Dry is a better album, yes, but they didn't uh, review it, so it's not, not a yet. bonus episode. Yeah, we haven't we haven't done any duplicate reviews of bands. We've we, we're trying to we're trying to get through as many without before duplicating bands. We'll, we'll eventually get there. Tommy, Tommy. Um. Okay. So Tommy, done it again. I am gonna go with. Uh, let's see, Pyromania. Give me hanging on off a of winger. <laughs> love love that song. Love that album. Was that your number one pick? What's that? Was that your number one pick when you took that album? That was my first pick off winger. Yeah. <laughs> hanging on. Come on, Tony. Okay, yeah. Philippe said yes, I don't like that maiden album. So he was calling peace of mind piece of shit. Yeah, it's one of it's one of their best records, which which it's still not good. It's actually, obviously not a maiden fan. I didn't own it, and I'm glad uh, Sonny picked it. I'll give him credit. I like the album. Peace of yeah. Mind, Power Slave, Beast, Stephen Wood. Yeah. The Halloween episode is coming to you soon, dude. Oh. Fuck <laughs> that. <laughs> No, Steve, Steve Righty, you'll be ha you'll be happy to know we found out that Jericho loves Halloween. He's got a fucking box set in the back of him. He had a he has a Halloween box set. That doesn't surprise me. Awesome. <laughs> All right. The seven keys of shit. Whatever the fuck. I'm <laughs> they got great album covers. I'll give you that. But yeah, if you're into fucking Dragon Rock, <laughs> who who doesn't like dungeon metal? <laughs> who doesn't like fucking sorcery metal? <laughs> wow. <laughs> We got to uh, we got to do a Dungeons and Dragons draft. <laughs> Dungeons and <laughs> medieval fucking draft. 
<laughs> hey, half ace. I, knew, I, I know half ace from Twitter. Now he's on Facebook. That's awesome. He said he wants to know if there's extra points for handsomeness. Yes, there is. That's box. why I'm winning. <laughs> yeah, that's why everybody has a zero. We're all in the <laughs> negative. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm going to uh, get my OU812 out of the way, and I got finish what you started. Started. Song. We're getting yelled at by Stephen Wood. He says, Keeper of the Seven Keys Part 1 is killer. Unclog your ears. Yes, it is. And, and I got to say, Stephen Wood, I'll bet you these guys never even listened to that album. Never, so never, never. Never. <laughs> righty, righty. There I you go. Go. Righty, full disclosure, I have never listened to that album. You're right. I haven't. So you I'll, I'll, I, I will have. Do You're not favor. missing anything. I will do I, I will do you a favor, righty, and I will listen to that album. All right. I like part two better, but part one is really good. Too. Dude, let's not push it. Dude, what is this? Yeah. The Godfather? There's not enough. It's not it was so good they had to make a sequel. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't go the third one. They stopped. And the two. sophomore was better. Yeah, right. <laughs> Zeus, we're getting, Zeus, we're getting yelled at on the comments. Everyone's like, Halloween is great. What when yeah, did this happen? It is. Oh, all right. Fantastic. Hey, righty, you know you're up. Okay, I'm afraid I'm, I'm afraid, I'm afraid I'm going to start listening to them, and I might like them. I'm not going to be able to admit that to anybody. Well, then go you... listen to fucking Sabotage next, and maybe you'll fucking start realizing how bad all that music sounds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my pick, I think Dylan's going to pick this next, so I want to get this. Mr. Crowley. I knew you were going to pick that. Shit, I forgot that album existed. Oh, you're so selfish, Steve. <laughs> I know. You're so conceited, Claire. Yeah, you're so conceited. Well, you could have picked it if you weren't so busy picking Sonny's picks. Well, I wasn't picking Sonny's picks. That's, if I'm losing, then we know why. Oh, great. Zeus, BC BC showed up and wrote Sabotage. Yes, BC, our boy. Sabotage. Hall of the fucking... I'm surprised he's watching. He gets really stressed when the Is that your album? Well, that's when he has to do it. No, I now, now our buddy Chuck is really getting it. Now he's trying to tell us that Iced Earth is good. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that? that I, know that, I know that. I know those guys. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> We're going to wow. do a special bonus episode on all that kind of sorcery, wizardry, dungeon <laughs> metal. Yeah, we're going to do the greatest hits, but there's only two songs on it, so... I don't know how you going to do that. Where are you coming up with the two songs for that? <laughs> coming okay. up coming up on the next bonus episode, it's Iced Earth Review. <laughs> <laughs> okay, righty you're, righty, you're a Maiden fan and a Halloween fan. Half Ace is trying to tell us that Halloween is super catchy Maiden. No, it's not. <laughs> I don't, I don't. They're, they're, they're more no. melodic than Maiden. I, I, I'll, yeah. I'll go for that. Ugh. You think they're more melodic than earlier, Maiden? Well, certainly than the first two. Dude, this is like arguing if you'd rather get shot or stabbed. I mean, <laughs> like, if I got to listen to all this shit, I'd rather get oh, shot boy. and get it over with. <laughs> all, all right. right. Who's next? Gonna please keep going here. Yeah, it's back to back. Okay. okay. Let's let's go to uh, Bon Govi uh, with Shot Through the Heart. Oh, good song. You know that's not you give love a bad name, right? Yes, I'm I'm aware. I'm not a I'm not a pleb here. I'm not a this isn't my first rodeo. I'm not a pleb. Like, <laughs> I'm not a pleb. What? I was gonna look up pleb on my computer, but I forgot I was sharing my screen. King, King Diamond, baby. Um, and then my second pick, I'm going to pick uh uh, let's go with Until It Sleeps from okay. the, Good song. The, the By the way, track. Merciful Fate, the, the Metallica does Merciful Fate better than Merciful Fate does. So I love that. I love that medley. That is oh, so, that's that's great. That is great so good. That is so good on, on Garage Inc. Really good. But have the you actually listened to the Merciful Fate, Merciful Fate, Tom? I've heard some of them. I haven't heard all those songs that Metallica did, but I've heard some. It's too operatic. King Diamond. Like, yeah. he, he gets way up yeah, there. Way too much for me. Way too I, much. I will say Metallica that. is great at doing medleys, too. I like that rainbow medley they did as well. Oh, Roddy okay. Rising. Yeah. yeah. That that rainbow medley is insane. That is so good. So good. Yep, I agree. Um, who's Righty's up here now? Up. Righty's up. Righty. Okay, I'm going to pick Sonny's all-time hated Van Halen song, Source of Infection. Oh, wow. Actually, a good song. 
Ugh. By the way, we're by the way for the for the comment we're we're referring to the U.S. mix of slide it in, not the U.K. mix. Yes. The U.S. mix is ten thousand times different and better. No, well, does anybody have any fucking dragon force on here? <laughs> what, through the fire and the flames? Yeah, that'll be. That'll be my... <laughs> I remember trying to play that on Guitar Hero. Yep, that was that's a, a song on. Uh... That's a good pick, Sonny. I yep. like that tune a lot. What I, you I got, what do you pick? I got Metallica out of the way. Ain't my bitch. That's okay. Uh, bitch. I'm, I'm going to hold on. I got Blizzard, Load, OU812, Pyro, Slide Dance, Super Unknown. All right. I'm going to go with. Um, I'm going to go with uh, my, the best song off of OU812 that none of you understand how good it really is. And that is Sucker in a Three Piece. Ugh. Ugh. Best song, on the, best song on the album. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh yeah, I don't know about the it, it, good. I like it though. I like it because it's like it's like David Lee Roth, Van Halen, but Sammy Hagar doing it. Oh, stop! <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't like oh. that Pooney has access to like emojis. That's not fair. <laughs> Zeus. All right, go to the the other screen, Sonny. The screen that pisses you off. No problem. <laughs> Why would this piss me off? This That'd be just you then. Um, let's take the only really decent song off a of winger and get this out of the fucking way. Seventeen. Oh, oh. good lord! I don't think that's fucking accurate. Track. That's a win-win for everybody. I still can't believe how much that you don't like. We lo we love hair metal. I can't believe you don't like that album. It's not good. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what just, don't you like about that record? It's not the lyrics, good. the vocals, the, the music, the melodies, the singing, <laughs> the guitar, the drumming. No, I don't know. I got you it. like it. It's not bad. It's hey, not Zeus. Bad, but it's not Zeus, bad. tell him. I think he's. I what think hair he's, metal album did you like that you didn't think you'd like? Huh? What hair metal I, album did you I, like? I didn't own. I like the Trooper. I didn't own fucking uh, Peace of Mind, and I really like it. I didn't own Load, and I really liked it. So, Zeus. What album did you like that you did on our podcast that you didn't think you'd like? Oh, I I thought it was uh, okay. I liked um, what was that fucking shit band? Um, Pretty, Pretty Boys, Boys Floyd. Floyd. No, no. I listened to it all the way through a few times. It, you know, there was nothing like oh my god, like fucking some of this shit. Uh, like this is horrible. <laughs> you like, weren't listening hard enough. Tony says I can no longer take Zeus seriously. There was no bad song on that Winger record. Yeah, right. Uh, Tony, listen to Poison Angel later. <laughs> What's wrong with that one? <laughs> yeah, right. All right, Stephen, you're up. Back to back. Ace Frehley type lyrics on that song. All right, give me uh, AFU. Nice. Good one. Ugh. Me <laughs> fucking. <laughs> this is going to prompt me to ask that question. Does Zeus like music? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh give me uh get ready from the bon jovi record oh terrible terrible love song. that tune love it <laughs> love the riff love it all of it's good the whole album Dude, that, I, I said this during the ep i said this during our episode that's I like a fucking that. target ad get ready <laughs> terrible that's that's great. it was great live too you saw him play live wow yep. that's a rare you know how old he is <laughs> that that was back on the uh, seventy eight hundred uh, tour. See, that's how old he is. I saw them playing on their first tour. But but here's the point: like, so you love that Bon Jovi record, yes. but you don't like the Winger record because the Bon Jovi record's good. <laughs> nope, it's good. It's good. It's not. It, it's it's average. It's much. It's better. Better. It it's is like, average. I agree. It's listenable. Oh, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Okay, Zeus who's up? up? Zeus. Oh, Zeus. Oh, um, let's go back. All right. I think I haven't taken... Should I bust it out? Oh, let me just, just bust, bust my move. Um, or do I just take a favorite song at this point? I can take my thing. I will take... Uh, I'm going to take... The probably I'm thinking if we look at this list, I can't think of anything 
right off the top of my head that would be a better opening track off any of these fucking albums. And I may be mistaken, but I'm taking Welcome to the Jungle. I don't know why no one's taking that yet. Sucks. <laughs> Tony, you are correct. The winner yeah. debut is better than the Bon Jovi debut. Yes. How come you're only reading the comments that disagree and fucking agree? With you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, there haven't been any that that uh, are otherwise. <laughs> there you go, <laughs> Dylan. <laughs> okay, no. Here's one that will piss off. Here's one that will piss off Sonny. Without the night is the worst song in the draft by far. Thank you. See, there you go. <laughs> The yep. song by Chicago that made it onto a winger album. <laughs> Sonny. Ah, see, look at Stephen Wood. What did Stephen say over here, huh? Stephen Wood, he said, lunch break over. Have fun, everyone. See ya. Ah, we'll Joe Castaro we'll saw Bon Jovi on the tour. They opened for the Scorpions. I would rather stay outside in the parking lot for that show. That oh, was a fucking <laughs> fantastic show. Oh, bon Jovi, God. Scorpions, that would have been fucking insane. That was great. Like, like insanely horrible. Oh. Uh, Scorpions, He's fucking awesome, brutal. I'm waiting for Sonny to just pick a scorpion bonus pick just to torture my soul. <laughs> he loves love at first thing. Fucking awesome. Yeah. Pick it's that, Sonny. That's Desert Island for him. Blackout's coming. great. Okay, I'm up. We yep. are scorpions. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm going with uh, "Steal Away the Night" off a of Blizzard. It's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I love the guitars on it. Randy Rhodes is a. I'm oh. I'm just holding my breath till somebody picks a song called "Whale and the Wasp." <laughs> I like it. That's a good instrumental. Come on, that's good. That fucking song rocks. What are you talking about? <laughs> Half Ace wants to know who hates the Scorpions. This guy. Not me. I love the Scorpions. No, I, I don't scorpions. hate them. Scorpions I just, great. I just, scorpions rule. Dan, thanks, Dan Rubin. Peace, y'all. No, I don't hate the Scorpions. I just don't like them. I can't stand close. There is one band on here that I don't like. He's not a fan of yours either, Tom. Who is it, Dylan? You'll find out when, when we get to oh. my pick. Oh, okay. I can tell you, but I won't. Interesting. Okay. All right. I'm getting my Bon Jovi pick out of the way going burning for love. Nice. I'm burning for love. Do, do, do. I mean, the whole totally totally black dance. <laughs> it's like a footloose theme. <laughs> There's not a band on this uh, draft that I don't like. Mm. The Footloose soundtrack bonus episode when? Uh, don't tempt me, Dylan. Well, do got, it. You got a lot of good socks out there. Actually, I think we would all like that. Heaven helps. Uh, <laughs> good. Metal health. Yeah. You're right. There's not a band on here that I don't like either. There's six of them on singles alone I don't like. <laughs> Jesus, <please. laughs> I'll second that. <laughs> right hey, you're up. The Wilson sisters are on there. Okay, I'm going with my uh, first extra pick of the evening. You go do I that. Steal a crazy train. Hey, hey, Dylan. Speaking of the Footloose soundtrack, Murph just said, "Let's hear it for the boys." Yeah, that's another <laughs> good one. <laughs> oh, our friend hold it out for a hero. Sleep during a Scorpion show. I don't blame you. So, so let me get this straight. Philippe doesn't like peace of mind, and he fell asleep during a Scorpion <laughs> show. So what's so what's happening here is this could be Philippe is like my burner account because <laughs> <laughs> me and me and him are agreeing on a lot tonight. It's Philippe Fraley. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Tell us, Philippe, what excites you because. <laughs> Yeah, because right. when, when, when I hear like big city nights and shit like that, oh man, that's fucking gets me sleepy. Big city nights, that's a good song, right? That uh, that's a good song. I will Black say in out, high school, in high school, in high, dynamite. I, I listened to a lot of Scorpions in high school, and I just kind of grew up and realized that they're not good. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan, you're back to back. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get my uh, band that I don't like out of the way, and this one's probably gonna White be Snake. a lot of in the com comments. White Snake, I'm going with the title oh. track. How can you not like White Snake? I just I get fatigued by them very easily. Okay. I we, we're uh, actually doing a White Snake oh, episode God. in two weeks, and Dylan doesn't want to be part yeah, of it. So I am, I'm wow. going to play. You yeah. got to go backwards with them, man. Build it up. Mm. That old blues rock shit is fantastic. Honestly, yeah. that is the first. I can't. I don't know if I've ever heard anybody say they don't like White Snake. But hey, to each his own. That's okay. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. Um. Who's so next? Way, thank God. 
me again. Uh, <laughs> oh, Scott Donaldson, a buddy from Australia is on. Scott, what's up, buddy? I think I'm going to go with No Bone Movies. Nice one, uh, Steve. That's Zeus's that's no favorite fucking album. No movie, you piece of shit. <laughs> well, I wasn't yeah. going to pick D. Oh God, no! I love I love No Bone Movies. I like that song. It's a great song. No, yeah. No Righty, you're up. Okay. Hmm. I think it's time to shock the people. Uh oh. oh I think it's time to shock the people. Why are you gonna Game follow pick a good song? I am gonna pick. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Michael. <laughs> SM. SM. I'm gonna pick the day I tried to live. Another oh, Soundgarden song? Yep. Wow. Leap likes White Snake, so wait a minute. Not completely insane. <laughs> you you had the choice and you voluntarily picked two. Off of Super Unknown? That's I, like I told you I didn't hate the album as much as I thought I was going to. Actually, and you'll end up loving it. Actually, two days ago was the first time I ever listened to the whole thing all the way through. Me and okay. BB have been telling you that Soundgarden's fantastic. Now you got to get into well, Audio Slave. Let's, let's not get crazy now. Audio Slave is friggin' amazing. Oh. You got Rage plus yep. Chris Cornell? Come Chris on. Cornell, can't go wrong. Yep. It's you not can. Good Soundgarden. Let's, let's, not get, let's not get nuts here. Dylan, it's funny that you bring up Audio Slave. I've been, I've been, that, that could be a, a potential uh, bonus pick. We did pick Soundgarden, but Audio Slave is nothing like Soundgarden. Oh yeah, they're very different. Yeah, good. Yep. I'm gonna uh, go with uh, Winger. We're gonna go with Hungry. Nice, okay. good one. Good pick. Good one. Great. All right. Um, okay, Tom, you're up. Um, I am gonna go with. Um, can you put up, pull up the song list, please? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go with. Uh, let's see here. Oh, give me one second here. What do I want to do here? I want to take. You want to go to sleep? Let's see. <laughs> I am going to go with the off of our load. I'm gonna take the thorn within. I like that song. Yeah. I'm telling you, I, I wave the flag for load and reload. I, I like those both of those albums a lot. They have a lot of good stuff on there. They do. There's a lot of stuff that they, they should have done what Guns N' Roses did with the Illusion albums, just put them together, made one album. Yeah. You know, cut out cut out the filler. Zeus uh, Zeus go with uh let's see, where is it? Um Bill Sharp said Winger Rules, Stuart. <laughs> I'm going to take the number three song of all the songs we've ever done that I picked for me. My third favorite song, and no one's taking it. It's there. I didn't think you guys would take it. I'm going to go with Give Me More Time. Oh, White Snake. Nice. I love that. Daniel Peoples says Audio Slave is his favorite Chris Cornell. That's that, That's a tough one. To I love it's Audio Slave. It's that's absolutely fantastic, Cornell. Yeah. Bruce, you knew that was an extra, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Just one mixture. All I right, Steven, you are the dog. I figured people would take slow and easy first, so I jumped on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Um, I'll take Love Ain't No Stranger. Damn it! Oh, that was my song. I waited for too long. I was going to take that about, pick. I was going to wait. Wait about. I was going to take that about two picks ago. I slept on that too long. It's your album too. Wasn't Love it? that song. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know uh, we we'll next. Then yep. your first two picks are gone from that. Yep. And I will take mm, Give me Give me Tom Give me Tom to surrender off the winger record. Song. So here's a point I gotta make up. That's your no, that was that was your number one pick, Sonny, for the album. Why wouldn't you take that? Uh because I wanted hungry instead. Don't try to figure them out, Zeus. You're going to get frustrated. Yeah, yeah. His uh, mind is an so enigma. That wasn't your number one pick when we did the album review. No, it wasn't. Then why would you Why would you pick it number one if that was on, with no pressure, no draft, nothing? Why would you pick that as number one then? Because I wanted to. Just to mess with your head. So I was just going to say to him, no, I know you're watching. 
just so you could have or, this conversation. Or maybe perhaps you had a strategy here that kind of blew up in your face. No, <laughs> my strategy went exactly oh, how I wanted. Exactly how I wanted. So <laughs> you had an album review, and we're all picking our favorite songs, and yeah. you articulate that, and then right. you come on and be like, oh, that's not my favorite song. That's right. No, <laughs> it's not. It is my favorite song. Is that I know other people want Hungry. So I just, as I said, it was a strategy. Yes. Okay. All right. Thanks for clarifying. <laughs> Mr. I fucking Asylum is my favorite song. What about Asylum? Nah, I'm not picking that. No. Because <laughs> I know nobody else is picking it. So I'm good. Um, I'm going to take my favorite song and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break the seal on this off this album. I'm going to take Coming Under Fire. Talk about something nobody would have taken. Can't go wrong with this record. <laughs> Half Ace goes, oh shit, 3D chess. Yeah, none of us are playing. We're, dude, we're playing one D chess. You're not playing, you're playing fucking rocks when you're talking about the fucking Winger album. One D rock. I, I, I Sunny Spock on the bridge of the Enterprise. Dude, we had, this is there's no th this is fucking Candyland we're playing here. Okay, <laughs> come on, dump, we got to dumb it down. Um, Shoots okay, a ladder. Give, give I'm, I'm up. Give me uh, all or nothing. Slide it in. Yeah, I knew it was coming. Yeah. Glad you jumped on that because that was going to go soon too, huh? Yeah, I, I didn't think. Yeah, well, okay. I don't think guilty of love. I love I love that album, so I'm, I, I'll be happy. Here's with a song it. for you. <laughs> okay, oh, Sonny, what kind of what kind of strategy are you going to do now? Song, yeah, what song did you rank tenth that you're going to take now up high? <laughs> 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 I wasn't ready to go here yet, but I don't want to. All right, I'm going to take my White Snake pick too, because all the other White Snake songs I really wanted are gone. So I know what you're picking. I'm going with "Standing in the Shadow." Yes, great Good song. Turn. Yep. yep. Oh, album's great. It is. Yep. All right, righty. Okay. Tight ends are going quick. Yeah, <laughs> here comes the run. Guilty of love. Time for fat asses. Um, <laughs> Does anybody want to catch a pass of this football game? I don't think anybody's paying attention. All right, Dylan, you're back to back. Okay, we're going to get my pick off the winger album, Madeline. Oh, and somebody just said, how is that still on the board? They think it's yeah, the that's best. what gave me the idea. Thank you yeah. very much. Brad Rustov. Oh, Thank I you, Brad. That. A that, great song, song. that song's pretty good, That's dude. Great. How are the Saints winning this game when Drew Brees only has 99 yards passing? What's the score? 20 to 13 in the middle of the third quarter. Wow, that, actually, five minutes left in the third quarter. That's crazy. The two goats are playing very goat like. Oh, so. uh, and then I'm going to pick uh, my maiden pick to tame a land. Oh, god. Dylan, I love you, buddy, but yeah. Oh, come on. That's such a good song. Oh, how do you, how do you oh, pick that before Die With Your Boots On? Because I, I like Die With Your Boots On. Die With Your Boots On is awesome. It, it is awesome. funny. Man. But I go for Epic Maiden every time. Oh, man. Okay. Isn't it fucking Dune? Fucking yep. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Did you ever, you ever read that? Dune is Dune fucking awesome. And the, the Gom Jabbar. Dude. I didn't read Dune. Murph just said this football I didn't game. Play with my action version. figures when I was forty. No. <laughs> Murph says the football game is the visual version of Quest for Fire. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there you go. But that's actually cool. It's not fucking Dungeons and Dragons shit. <laughs> that is cool. Yeah. Who's next? Who's Steve. Righty. Oh, righty. Okay. Um, a little headed for heartbreak. I think I gotta go with. Oh, oh wow! Oh. That's oh. that's that song's average. Yeah. Oh, well, there's no, not much left on there. You know, oh. I gotta get a pick of oh. Hendrix song. Are you kidding me? That's Cover that song. song. Yeah. Oh. The the soloing at the end is fucking fantastic on there. Oh. I would have gone with State of Emergency before, but oh. great song. Actually, Stephen, I was gonna pick uh, Tom Time to Surrender, but you guard that so. What's that, dude? How that song start? Rough boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good song, but you should never do it. Actually, I think that's why Zeus doesn't like that album. I think he's intimidated by Kip Winger's handsomeness. <laughs> <laughs> the tooth goes bing. He just has that, that 
that little string hanging off of his shirt just to, so he can say I'm, he's not shirtless. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to go with uh, Pyromania. We don't take the best song off of their photograph. Oh, Damn you. I don't want to. Fatigue. Fatigue. I don't Thank you. Sure. Yeah, still a great time. song. It is it's still good, song. but. All right, Tommy. Um, I am going. So I got, let's see, Pyromania. Yeah, Mer- Soundgarden. Um, I am going to actually go with a bonus, a wild card, and I'm going to take State of Love and Trust off singles. Uh, you uh, why would anybody spend their extra <laughs> on? <laughs> because because yeah. I don't know. I know Zeus likes Pearl Jam. I I think Dylan likes Pearl Jam. So I I don't actually, know. I have that one highlighted. That one I think I liked a little bit. Okay, so so this is the coming out party for Steve Wright as a grunge fan. That's what well, we're. Let's not get crazy now. Easy, <laughs> settle down. There's a there's All a right. gem, um, there's a gem still left take, on that uh, single cracker. Sonny, I'm gonna take uh, and get it out of the way. Uh, where is it? Sweet Child of Mine. Ugh. And we were talking about fatigue. I know. Yeah. But I oh, that in. solo, I, I'm never fatigued yeah. with that solo. Yeah. Oh, you you don't, don't, how about the radio edit of that? It, like, it totally killed the fucking song. Yeah, it does. It's stupid. Yeah. yeah, why would you edit out the solo? It's yeah. like, so, that's part of the song. Yep. Yeah. All right, this is real easy. So I'm going to take um, uh, Brownstone because that is my name, Mr. Brownstone. I'm for that, yeah. Ooh. Gotta kick them on down the line. Kick them on down the line, oh, baby. Seven for Sonny. And now I'm gonna go in for the kill on the Def Leopard. Let's see what I want. The I Def will, Leopard. The Def Leopard. I will take. Are you so a many. fan of the band The Kiss? <laughs> kiss, Kiss. Yeah, yeah I, I, I like him. <laughs> From Kiss. I think I will go with God, the Guns and Roses. I love them all. I love them all. I'll go with Rock Rock till you drop, baby. Oh, somebody just called that. Brad oh. on the chat just was calling that one out. Oh, yeah, he sure did. Yep. All right, Zeusy. All right, so I have to take... Uh, that I know. That I know. Um, What's available for me? I have plenty of time to take these because I know half a says I love the kisses. <laughs> I love the Van Halen. I love the Stooges. I will show you the Stooges. I will show you the Stooges. <laughs> you will show me the Stooges. All right, let's go. Right with here, Laura. Right here in your bed. <laughs> let's go with this. Um, where is it? Uh, ta, 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 ta. Uh, I'm going to take my song. I knew it would last that long. Revelation. Uh, ta, 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 ta. <laughs> what is the defense? Jeremy uh, Irons referencing here? That's awesome. The, the best solo on this fucking whole list right there. Thank you. It's a good solo. It's a good solo. It's, it's not a good song. The solo is love this song. Love right. Song sucks ass. Uh, you suck ass. <laughs> I need Pyromania and Soundgarden. Okay. Uh, and two wild cards. All right. Uh, Sonny, could you put the song list, please? Thank you, sir. No, switch back. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Soundgarden. I'm taking... Um, wait, do I want Soundgarden or do I want Pyromania? <clears throat> yeah, I want Soundgarden. Give me a 4th of July. Love the long, slow Soundgarden song. Oh, that's a great song. Yep. <laughs> Love it. Fourth of July. All right. Sunny. So, time for me to go to Appetite. We're going to go to It's So Easy. Tie game. Saints Bucks. Woohoo. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here. <laughs> yes, in the face. <laughs> I believe you call it soccer. <laughs> All right, righty. All right. Uh, give me Breakout from Bon Jovi. Good tune. That's a good song. Love that mm-hmm. The drums out excellent this time. The only problem is that intro when he's using that little Casio keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> they were low budget back then. Yeah. 
Low <laughs> flow. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> this is made in the heat of the night, Stephen. What's that? I was saying. I was just singing the song. That's all. All right, Dylan, you're back to back. Okay. I am going to pick for my Def Leppard. I'm going to go with Stage Fright. Great nice. song. Oh. All right. Daniel People says, for everyone not named Tom and Zeus, what 80s band would you expect to show up for a future bonus album review? Or Sonny. Oh, yeah. For everyone not named Tom and Zeus or Sonny, what 80s band do you expect to show up for Exactly what they just asked, Dad. <laughs> so I, I'm reading it I'm reading again. Is that all right? Do you speak uh, any English? <laughs> You're grounded. <laughs> you're grounded. You need to go the next one. Sits. Sits. <laughs> or, Stay in yeah, the room yeah, you're I, in. I, I have you have to be my father for two weeks. <laughs> you're grounded. <laughs> you're going to have to listen to Halloween again. <laughs> hey, we're Steve, just, we're just I, lucky to be here. We're lucky to be here when the son overtakes the father for the first time. It's amazing. Oh, look at Chuck Hoskins kind of. I, I, would, I would say to that 80s comment, the album. I'm thinking uh, you may see a Cinderella album. I you think know, you should do something not rock. So we got I Firehouse, Rat, Motley Crue, Great White, Rosp, Judas Priest, Kicks. Another ben vote why, for Great why White. Why don't you venture out and do something not rock? We will. Give us time. Don't worry. We're not going anywhere. We just stuck I, with like, these I like the idea of Rio or yep, Seven Durant Durant. Rag Tires. It, that, well, we will get there. We will get there. Rat out of the cellar. Poison, look what the cat dragged in. Ooh. I want to see him do Barry Manilow too. No, I'll do it. Don't tell I want to see you do Barry Manilow. Let's no, bang. actually, Steve, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a class of classic album clash like Jericho. It's gonna be Barry Manilow live versus Kiss Alive. Sweet. <laughs> track by track. <laughs> Dylan Get a very medley. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, my first bonus, I believe, my first extra song Ooh. with Hero of the Day. Nice. Max Lynch says the debut by Living Color. Ooh. Well, that's a good one. That is a good one. I ain't no glamour boy. <laughs> Living Color was good, man. Vernon oh, Reed. Good. They were good. Yeah. Righty. Uh, yeah. Let me see the other ones anyway. The seasons by. All right, so let's see what we got in Def Leppard. Oh! Um, give me Die Hard the Hunter. Ooh, Not Paul's too. Boutique. You guys have to do Paul's Boutique. Oh, no! That's a great <laughs> one. Oh, yeah. oh, I, I spelled it wrong on our list. I put Die Hard the Junter. <laughs> but I'll take Hunter. If we end up getting into the hip hop reviews, Paul's boutique will be there. Daryl Alba says Duran Duran notorious. No, you won't, no, you won't get my download if you do them. If I I'll do, give you the download, I'll just I'll just fast forward through. Beastie the whole Boys thing. are good, Dad. Stop. Oh God, especially Paul's boutique. Check your head. Oh, two yep. of the greats. Eggman. <laughs> oh God, amazing. Yep. They run uh, all them Zeppelin drum loops. Sounds fantastic. Oh, then that means I'm gonna have to listen to that then. When we do the next one for these, oh. maybe you don't even <laughs> like Zeppelin. <laughs> Who maybe? doesn't? Yes. Oh, Steve. I no, I I don't hate them. I just I just you, you I honestly heard. cannot get through physical graffiti. Listen the whole thing all the way through. Can't do what? It. Oh, can't do it. My God, I've tried many times. I, I get about <laughs> six songs, and I'm like, uh, it's good, but like. Uh, Zeus Sorry. Chuck Hoskins wants us to do Ghetto Boys. Mind my mind's playing tricks on me. Hey, Tom. This week, when did Halloween fall on? This year, Halloween fell on a weekend. <laughs> Me and ghetto boys are trick or treating, robbing little kids for bags. <laughs> All right, that's my karaoke for the night, everybody. Wow. All right. All right. Next, I'm going with my bonus pick. We are going to Appetite with Yo Crazy. Y'all all crazy. <laughs> You're yeah, crazy for taking that. Oh. Damn, I, I lost my live stream of the football game. God damn it. It's still tight. Tommy, oh, you're up. There we go. All right, hold on a minute. I'm gonna get my. All right. So, all right. Can we go back to the? So I need <laughs> Tyromania and two bones. Rest, rest in peace, Bushwick Bill. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. All right. Uh, Pyromania, give me fooling. 
fa 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 fooling. Need to get the pot of thunder fellows of the ghetto boys show up. Oh god, imagine if we did that. That would be sick. All that'd right, be, that'd be, that would be awesome. I will take in the seasons. Oh, I'll take uh, seasons. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> How is Chris Cornell terrible? Dude, that fucking vocal. A bad song. A beautiful. A beautiful good singer song. can sing a bad song. <laughs> That's a beautiful song. It's amazing. Beautiful. Vocals are insane. Very zeppish. Beautiful. Use the roll it in, a paintbrush. <laughs> then, then again, you don't like physical graffiti, so. How are you gonna I like just said it? I like it. I just can't listen to the whole thing at once. <laughs> I I will that take. That means I don't like it. I don't know. I will take out to get me appetite. There you go. Go in. And I will Did take. I, I will no. take action numbers from Pyromania, please. Shock me. <gasps> no. 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 You don't like that song? Why would you take that? Love it. Thoughts on Chris Cornell's Scream album? I'm going to be honest with you. Haven't heard it. Oh, man. I never expected anybody to take Action Not Words. Oh, yeah. You slept on that one, buddy. I love that song, man. That's one of the best yeah. deep tracks. Top 20. That was number 17 for me on my list. Yep. I can never oh. thought anybody would take that. Do you like the shock me? Never knew that's what they were saying throughout the whole song. <laughs> oh, is that what they say? Yeah. Shock, they shock me. Shock me. Throughout I thought it was song. shot me. Shock me. Really? But me? they don't say me. Shock me. <laughs> shock me. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> and also in a solo. I want to feel your power. <laughs> Who's up? Zussi. Shock Zussi. me. I frankly feel the fuck? I can't Wait, so long, he said. I just can't roll. I'm gonna throw up. Um, <laughs> so let's go with. I gotta go. With basically, my best song. I feel is left. Um, I do like "Spit It Out." No, that song's great. Is that what you're going with? <laughs> Spit it out if you don't like it. Dude, that's embarrassing. Yeah, I didn't take it. I didn't take it. I'm just mocking him. Oh. Uh, we're telling him to spit it out. Uh, I'm not taking anything left on Blizzard. I'm not taking peace of mind. Fuck out of here with Winger. Fuck out of here with OU812. Um, there's nothing that, I mean, there's just everything's kind of in the middle there. There's still a gem left on singles that I like. There's actually a lot of a lot. gems left. The whole album's great. Yep. Um, don't don't get just, carried away. While I'm thinking, I'm going to take my Whale and Wasp and be done with Jar Flies. Just be yeah, cool. like, instrumental. I, I love that. Me too. I love that instrumental. Yep. Oh, sorry. I picked Mr. Scary and got fucking ridiculed. <laughs> whale and Wasp. Whale and Wasp. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, Steve, uh, you took Mr. Scary when there was still like 10 songs left on Back for the Attack. And that's the right. song on the album. Yeah. And your point? That's it. Uh, Mr. Scary is <laughs> not as good as uh, Tommy, you got two bonus, but you get to pick one of your bonus. Two bonus left. Um, let's see. I am going to go with um, Wasting My Hate. Nope. I'm going to go with My Michelle. My, 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 my Michelle. Yep, my second favorite song off of Appetite. Really? Yes. Wow. I don't. I. I, I will admit, I don't like. I, I'm not a big fan your of when it's kind of song. Tom, you had that ranked. What's that? That's your sixth ranked. Yeah. Song. Yeah. I, I, there's, there's a couple. There's a couple parts of the song I don't like uh, when it kind of speeds up when he's like, "Everyone needs love." Like that's kind of lame, but you know that it's true. Go again. Yeah. It's a good song. How How's does that go on you? Can you sing it again? No, no more singing. That's it for me. Rough boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also sticking with appetite. I'm going to go with Think About You. Nice. Anthony Barone, can't wait for the Rush album bonus episode. Yeah, I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna tell you right uh, no. now. I'm going to tell you right now. A lot of people have been saying this. Zeus and Sonny hate Rush so much that that almost won't be fun for me to do. 
That, sure will. I'm, I'm just going to say that right now. I've thought about it, but I'm like, you know what? It's too much. Too much. Just save it. Just save it, Tom. I think maybe it'll be just me and you, and we'll come on Growing Up Rock and do Rush album reviews. I have no one else to talk Rush with because these two guys Steve? literally hate Rush. Steve loves Rush. Steve, Steve loves like Rush. Rush. Yep. But Steve, you Three guys have done a musicians. bunch of stuff already. Yeah, we, we have a, a, a Rush theory. A fucking song if their life depended on it. Why do you rub? Rush, rush for the Yale. Love, <laughs> love, rush. Joke then is... I met Getty Lee. Yeah, what does that mean? Getty Lee seems like the nicest guy in the world. I, 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 I did a meet and greet with him. But... I did a meet and greet with Getty Lee, and he had the limpest handshake I've ever shaken hands with. Really? Yeah, it was like. Okay, you know, a masculine man. He, you can he, act he, like a man. He was so disinterested, it was ridiculous. It's down there somewhere, Don. Really? Yeah. I don't know, Godfather. What can I do? <laughs> you can act like a man. <laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> and this is what they did you. <laughs> you come here and you ask me, Godfather. Yeah. He says, "Nope, he was not cool." Wow, that's a bummer. That's okay. Yeah, Paul he Stanley's was not disinterested. Cool. Paul Stanley's not cool either. I love Kiss. Ow. Paul was nice to me when I met him. Yeah. How long ago was that? <laughs> Two years ago. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Of course, my buddy bought a whatever thousand dollar painting off of him, but. Oh, of course. <laughs> That's why he was being nice to you. <laughs> he signed my album. Okay. All right. Is it my pick? Yes. Okay. okay. I'll give yeah, you Paradise City. God, I'm surprised that was on there for so long. Dude, almost fatigue. All songs are appetite. It's fatigue, but I'll take it. Somebody either that or anything that goes. All. Let's all right, fill in your final two picks. Take final two picks. Anything goes. Let's see. Um, Scott uh, Wheeler says a... that we need to do an episode about Kiss connections to other bands. Rush opened for Kiss, and they seem mm -hmm. to have been good friends. Yes, they were. They, they, the, the, those two bands love each other. I mean, there's a shitload of bands that they're connected yeah. to. Yeah, my Joe's pick is going to be uh, "Die with Your Boots On." Yeah, nice. Yeah. Uh, See, yeah. I, I I didn't have to pick it the first time. I was able to pick it the second time. Good strategy, young man. Stephen Quester Fire coming. still left. No. And thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pick uh, "Too Late for Love." Dylan nice. hosing me. Nobody took "Rock of Ages." Wow. Righty. Joe also said Paul was cool when he met him. This is my last pick, right? I do your last pick. Yeah. Uh oh. Okay. All right. I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the the uh, is our no listeners pick. Available? Oh, you're gonna let the listeners pick. There Tell you go. What's left. I'm gonna let the listeners pick the last song as long as it's not from singles or that super. Or 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 super end up with the phone. Pick the pick the uh, the Wilson sisters. Ugh. All right. What's anyone want me to pick? Anyone? Somebody help Steve. Somebody help Righty with his last pick. He needs help yeah. with his last pick. Tell him to take half. Oh, kickstand. That song fucking rocks. <laughs> Love half. Chuck Hoskins <laughs> is telling you to take bleeding. I'm upset. Ronnie, pick Ronnie. I'm joking. Head down. <laughs> That's a good song. You're getting a vote for Rock of Ages. Head down. Somebody said Bleeding Me. That's a good song. That is a good song. Yeah, you got Bleeding Me, Rock Ronnie, of Ages. Ronnie. Never trust anything. That I'll pick Love Gun. Ages. Thanks, Murph. Love Gun. Half Ace has a good comment here. This is interesting. He says, it's common for musicians to give limp handshakes. Eddie Van Halen did that. It's too repetitive for them. Okay. I don't know. I've never met him. I've never done a meet and greet, so I wouldn't know. Uh, all right. Give me Rock of Ages. Why not? God damn you. That's what I was going to say. You make it sound like it's a chore to pick Rock of Ages. <laughs> it's not. Uh, I you, guess guys. I'll pick Rock of Ages. <laughs> I guess I'll suffer for one of the greatest songs of, from the 80s. <laughs> I got There's... something to say. Wow. There's no way I can allow a song called The Gambler to get by me on my last pick. Okay. So, yeah. no way to... It's called Gambler, not The Gambler. Gambler. No when to fold them. It's not the kiss. It's called kiss. <laughs> kiss, kiss. 
<laughs> Tommy, your last pick. Um. Oh boy. Okay. Let's oh boy, see. Oh boy, I really did it good this time. Oh boy, it's a big one. <laughs> um, back, back, back. Cause I need your love. Oh, Clearly, um, the uh, super unknown is the winner off of this list. It just has too many songs. Too many songs. There's a lot of songs on there. Black old Sean. God, I'm trying. To, let's see. That's a good one. Dirt. Down. All right. If I'm going by my rankings, you're picking Love Lies. No, if I'm going by my rankings, Love um, Lies. Good song. I am going with uh, Fresh Tendrils off of Super Unknown. I love that song, anyways. That's one of my favorites off that entire album. Good song. Yep. Don't know that one. I, I, I got into it more after we did the review. Although we didn't, I, I, I haven't gotten around to ranking uh, my winger songs, so they're not included in my overall ranking. But I probably I wouldn't right. take I wouldn't take anything over that. So, not for the cure is a good song. Bleeding me is a good song. Uh, Ronnie. Um, no, Ronnie's okay. I like that. Joe Casaro, we are ranking live albums. We've we've reviewed a live three, and we'll, we'll eventually rank all the live albums to like individually instead of doing them like if if you're referring to Kiss albums in that comment. Um, no, no, no. So it comes down to it comes down to Load Bon Jovi or Super Unknown. I am going to take. You uh, hate Load. You hate that album. No, I didn't. Well, I'm saying compared to Bon Jovi and Super Unknown. No, I had them right around a little bit there. Okay. I like Load. Load uh, but the other thing with Load is Tommy is like so there's a lot of songs there's on there. There's a lot of songs on there. Oh yeah. Yeah. I gotta see what I picked, what my rankings is. What's the next song? I got like everything's gone in my top thirty. So I've got to yep. see what's well, the next highest ranked song. I can't believe I have it ranked higher, but I'm not taking it. Was feels so good, so I need oh. to change my rankings. Oh, I, I'm gonna take limo wreck. Oh limo yeah, wreck. there you go. Another that super. fucking. Oh, that's horrible. Back to that chorus and the wreck of me. That's like the slowest song like ever. Oh, it builds. It builds. I love it. That is the Fourth of July shit of the yep. two of them, and like suicide. Yeah, oh, fucking great. Steve, oh, final pick. great. Oh, what to pick? What to pick for my final pick? Well, let's see. It comes down to winger or load or, believe it or not, singles. Do you like the poppy shit? The two poppy songs are left there. I like. I, I actually like Drown, but I love, love Dyslexic Heart. Um, it's a poppy. But, song. Those Westerberg songs are awesome. Yeah. Yeah, no, that not. dyslexic card that's is really good. Terrible. But I think that I am going to go with State of Emergency. There you go. Emergency. I love that record. Nice. Wow, that's it. What's left? That's it. Scraps. 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 What's oh, left? There's some good ones. There's still there some good go. stuff left on the board. There couple is two, a couple, two, three. A lot of shit left, though. I wanted 20. You guys wanted 15. Sonny, what are you doing? Color time here? What's happening? I'm just uh, coloring it so you can see it. Hell, Jesus. Relax. Oh, okay. Relax. Oh. Relax. Don't do Don't it. Do it. Uh, we were talking about like orgies like that earlier, weren't we? That's our next bonus episode. Frankie goes to Hollywood. <laughs> Nail orgies. Dude, Brady is dropping bombs right now in this game. Dropping bombs on your moms? Exactly. <laughs> He's dropping dimes. I'm dropping ripper ones. I don't think I've oh. ever heard anything off that Lulu record. Hey, if we uh, do we could do a virtual rough. podcast, we could do the uh, girl. Ripper's greatest hits. The oh. What? Oh, what? Top, top ten, top ten ripper poses. Oh top my god! <laughs> do, do a this ripper week draft. Some great ones. Oh, I know. With like well, the hands on the ass, like spreading it wide, so she can get a couple good rips out. And then you got the one with the foot cramp. 
Oh. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Her toes are all curled up. The one where she looks like either constipated or like <laughs> she hit like she hit the ten pack Taco Bell special. <laughs> it just looks like she's not very comfortable. <laughs> she has a little gastrointestinal irritation. <laughs> Hi, excuse me. I have IBS. Do you have anything I can take over the counter? Yeah, Sonny, you know we're still a cork. Oh, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Sonny, what's left on the? Uh, if you go to the song, the song tab, what, what, what do we have hanging around that's kind of worth anything? Uh, so obviously, Load and Super Unknown were the two albums that had the uh, the most songs. So that's yeah. kind of that's not a surprise. Well, singles had a lot of songs on it too. Singles had, yeah. I think, thirteen songs. Yeah, and most of you guys hate grunge, so. I would have totally picked Dyslexic Heart or Battle of Evermore. I think that's I a think it was cover. What, 13, yeah, 14, it was 15, respectively, Tom. 13 songs, 14 songs, and 15. Yeah. Right? yeah. If I got stuck, I would have picked Battle Forevermore. That's a good version of that song. It's terrible. Oh, yeah. Have you heard it? It's, it's the Wilson Sisters. How dare you? That's a great you know, record. the other shit that's like, down there. You makes sense it's the Wilson Sisters, though, since Cameron Crowe's the director. There's nothing Since wrong with you're that. You're uh, a Van Hagar fan, Sonny. How do you not like feel so good? That's such a catchy song. Yeah, it's fine. I, I got that's the awesome. song I wanted to get off. Oh, no, yeah. that's that's, a, that's one that's left. That was actually a single. Um, what's a single? Black Hole Sun. She Don't this Know is... Me was kind of a single. Yep. Uh, I'm surprised Black Hole Sun's still there. Yeah. Which one? It, it, Black Hole Sun. Sun. Did anybody Black take two? Hole Sun. Anybody take two songs off of Van Halen? No, I no. would have. I could have taken. Feel so no. good. No. Yeah. I, I hate Papa take... Wobble. I think that song is fucking terrible. Yeah, right. I agree. Uh, I think Pyromania and Appetite. I think that's right. I think those are probably the two. They, they're good songs, but it doesn't surprise me that those are the two left. And anything yeah. goes. And Billy's got a gun. Um, I could have taken Head Down, Mailman. Black Hole Song. Let Me Drown is one of the best songs in the entire album. I can't believe that's nah. there. There's a couple good ones left from Load. Bleeding Me, Ronnie, Waste of My Hate, Poor Twisted Me. Waste of My nobody, Hate. Nobody took the dinosaur song from Peace of Mind. <laughs> oh, nobody man. had to. That's why. I, yeah. <laughs> I think I was the only one that took a, a second song from uh, Peace of Mind. Yeah, I would have taken well, took, that yeah, you took, with your boots on. Yeah, you took to tame a land, right? Yeah, that was. Yep, to tame yeah. a land and dive your boots on. Dive your boots on. Great yep. pick. Great pick. Hmm. Well, I can go. I, also, Bon Jovi didn't get a second pick from anybody as well. Um, I'm not sure if Blizzard of Oz did that. Yeah, I picked two. Yeah, he picked oh, yeah you took train. Uh, Crazy Train. Dude, look how long Crazy Train. Maybe the most popular song of this whole fucking board. Look how low it went. I was gonna, I was gonna pick it, and then he swiped it. So and then I, I picked that way down. down. I I would go go I mean, like, like I if would. you look look at the list, look which like albums like didn't get a run on them until like White Snake, Def Leppard, yep. um, Guns N' Roses, like those three albums, there's so many good songs on them that yeah. it, everyone wanted to get the shit out of the way that they yeah. you know the good songs from the shitty albums. Yep. And those, you know, waited till later because there's pretty much anything off well, those. I want to point one other fact out because I, I mean Tommy will remember this and Sonny a little more than the rest. The the group picks only have four songs left of the four of the three yep. albums. Yep. Which ones were they? That's Appetite, Pyromania, and Blizzard of Oz. Yep. Yeah. Because we okay. always, cause, yeah, because every time we do the picks, the, the we the group picks are always albums that are like like the classics, and then when we do our rotation for our individual picks, those are the ones that are like. You know, whoever wants to personal favorites that we think other people will like, but they're not universally loved for the most part. But what one of you guys pick singles, right? But then, like, who the other one besides Sonny kind of agreed that, right? Zeus pick, no. Zeus pick, no, Zeus pick singles. That would have been mine eventually if Zeus didn't pick it. That's right. Tom's so it was like probably. kind of like a, a double pick, almost. Yeah, that was the, well, that was the same thing. thing with Jar of Flies. Tommy took that, and I loved yep. it. And super and super unknown, yeah. Yeah, or better yet, when you took slide it in, we all would have taken that. And that was that was the first that that was the second bonus 
out episode, that was before we kind of got into our groove of the picks because the first one was appetite, and then we did slide it in, and then we started getting really into the individual like kind of picks, like the way we did it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. once you start doing something different like that from your regular podcast, you kind of need to you you have a couple episodes just to kind of get into your groove of how yeah. you're, how you're going to work things out. Yep, and, and, and then actually, you could definitely see that from the, your guys' bonus episodes, just of the length of them. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, each one they you know they started out a little like two hours like around there, and I, like the last one was like fucking three hours long. Which it's it's not a complaint, but like you can tell how you guys got rolling as you went along with with these different <laughs> album picks. Like I said, fucking the one weekend you guys. You did the you did the bonus episode. We did the live stream, and then you did your regular episode. I think it was like six hours. I listened to all you fucking guys. Oh yeah, yeah. Six. What are you talking about? It was more Probably like nine. nine. Oh, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm rounding. I'm rounding. And then I can tell. I, and then for this month, we still we're, we're we still haven't gotten to our bonus for this month. That's going to be a group pick. Um, and I, I think that this the group pick is I think. I, I almost made this one of my individual picks like months ago, but we held off on it, and now we're doing it as a group pick this month. Yeah, that's coming out because uh, we're doing one a month, so we obviously we're running out of time. So that right. should be coming up shortly. Yep. And uh, this is a group pick, and I I fucking I'm pumped about this. I think we yep. all love this. Album. I think I, I think this one. I, I I would be surprised if there's any issues with this next group pick from anybody. Uh, you thought singles was bad. Wait till you hear this one. Oh, oh god! Oh. <laughs> group. Everybody loves the group picks. That's like I said in our in our text group, like I, I don't want to know what you guys have coming up. I want to be as surprised as everyone else. That's why and, we don't do. That's why and we don't actually, do teasers. While while we have everybody on here, why don't we pull all of us and then everybody who's listening their top three album picks of all the albums that are on here today? The bonuses. Okay. Yeah. Who's ever yeah. still out there? Guys out that are listening, just. Um, Put in the messages your your top three albums that we talked about tonight, and then we'll we'll go through ours, and then Tom can read it as we go along. Okay, I already know it because we have our own individual list. Do yeah, well, you, 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 Tom, the, the three you guys do. Yeah. So I, I'll just read them to you because I have the list up. So okay. Tom has singles number one, Pyromania number two, Jar of Flies number three. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> therapy. Holy uh, I have shit. number one is Blizzard. <laughs> number one. I have Blizzard of Oz. That's the best guitar album in this whole group. Pyromania number two, and then Appetite as three. Now, real quick, if I can just jump in here. Yeah, you're 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 this. These rankings are. It's pretty much there is literally like a fraction of a hair separating some of these albums. Like, yeah. like, I mean, I, I mean, like, I have Appetite for Destruction ranked fourth. That could easily, without a doubt, be number one. Like, so, so the the, the 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 difference that's separating those, the ones at the bottom for me, like, Peace of Mind, I'm not a huge fan of Bon Jovi. I'm not a huge fan of OU812 Winger. Those are at the bottom for me, but I still enjoy those albums a lot. But when you're talking about these albums, they, they, they're just this they, the fraction separating them, you know. All, All right, right, so here we go. So let's so, read a couple. Let's read a couple comments. Real quick. Going Murph, the same, well, hold on. Let me finish the list. Okay. I didn't get to Sunny. Sunny, slide it in. Number one, Appetite for Destruction. Number two, number three is Pyromania. Yep. Now, I, Tommy read his bottom three. My bottom three was Load, OU812, and Winger. Even Winger as my twelfth ranked album, I don't mind it. I'll listen to it. I'm just all joking aside. I can listen to the album, and I'm yep. glad I have it. Um, Sonny's bottom three, Super Unknown, Jar of Flies, and Load. I think he hates everything. Yep. Um, but before we go to the, the guys over here comments, please just uh, the rest of you three, um, please pick your top threes, starting with uh, Steve, and then uh, we'll do the bottom three for you too. Okay. My top three, that just like off the top of my head, looking at the ones we did here. Um, Blizzard of Oz, number one. Yeah. Maiden, number two. And then Def Leppard, number three. That's just I'm, off the top of my head. And, and I think the other two? Reason, I'm sorry, Steve. Uh, Maiden, Maiden for number two. Okay. And then Def Leppard. The only reason I don't have Appetite up there is it's kind of a fatigue factor with it, I think. 
Yep. But it's, it's a, it will be like a close, close third. But like, I really haven't listened to Def Leppard in a while. And Iron Maiden, they're always up the top. But Ozzy Blizzard of Oz is just fantastic. Yep. I think that's right. why I had Appetite. I mean, Appetite's probably Desert Island for me, but I think Fatigue just dropped it to number four. But that's, I mean, who doesn't love that album? You know what I mean? It's, it's, you know, what do you have as your bottom three, Steve? Uh, Jar of Flies is at the bottom. Yeah. Yep. Singles would be second. <laughs> and then third. Six one seven five 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 zero eight. Yeah, <laughs> super unknown. I'm guessing. I, I no, no I, I would actually put low below that. I low, really? Oh yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. I, let's go to. Let's go to uh, like I said, I, I was liking super unknown. I'm gonna have to listen to that some more. Okay. All right. Let's Dylan, go to the better you? looking uh, right. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be a basic bitch with my top picks. Uh, my my top one is appetite. Uh, second is Blizzard of Oz, and three is Pyromania. Just, yep. I mean, those Can't are just classic albums. Yeah. Yep. I, but, uh, it's me. Yep. Bottom three. Uh, my bottom three. My absolute bottom is definitely White Snake. Wow. <laughs> um, oh. Then I would probably go. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, then I would probably go. Maybe. Maybe Bon Jovi, and then probably probably Winger, Steve just because I, I don't go to those albums as much as the other ones. Steve okay. Wright, you tried, but you sort of failed short here in raising him. <laughs> just kick him out of the house. <laughs> and believe me, his, his younger brother likes even worse shit. No. Listen, oh. I made him. I made him listen to uh, Weezer's debut album in one of our episodes, and he hasn't forgiven me since. I don't blame him. Weezer's oh, oh my god. Oh. They made me uh, want to run into traffic. Yeah. So, but I did get into my company you, romance. If you want to did the terrible. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. I have it. You want me to pull it out? Right no. Now? We're good. Thank you. <laughs> all right. So my, my top three are, um, and this is all fatigue aside, it's just my top three out of this. I've got two Desert Island records on these bonus episodes. So number one is Pyromania for me. Number two is Appetite for Destruction. And the number three record for me is probably going to be uh, Peace of Mind by Maiden. Wow. My bottom three, uh, and this is, it's not that I don't like these records. They're just the bottom three out of this stuff that I would listen to. It's going to be Jar of Flies, number one, uh, the single soundtrack, which I actually really like. Yep. Uh, at number two, and then um, uh, Super Unknown at three, which I also love. So yep. that's fair. Fair enough. See, All that's right. what it is. I we feel the same. Like you can take some of these albums, even though they're on the bottom, but yep, they're compared but, to great albums. It's but hard. there's no records. None of these records I dislike. I own. Me too. Yep. I own yep. every one of these records except for Jar of Flies, and I listen to. Um, pretty much all of them, you know, from time to time. So yep. actually we, we did a, we did an episode where we did EPs and I think either Dylan or BB picked jar of flies. And was I was BB. like, uh, what the fuck? But I'll tell you what, I, I did like it a little more now than yep. I did then. Um, that what's the first song? Uh, Rotten apples. Is that the Rotten first song? Yeah. Yep. That's the, probably the least favorite. Almost. I, I like the, the talk box in that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. yeah that's kind of cool. cool. You know what I listen to more is Sap. I actually listen to Thank that. you. Sap's that awesome. More. Yeah. What is that? Uh, Sap's good. It first well, it's a, Go listen to another that. EP. Got me wrong. Is Great that an album? The best song on it is uh, "Right Turn," and that song is my favorite Alice in Chains song of all time. Yeah, Righty. If you ever, if you buy, I know you would never buy Alice in Chains vinyl, but if you buy the Alice in Chains um, jar, if you buy, buy Jar of Flies on vinyl. So it comes with two LPs. One LP is Jar of Flies. The second LP, one side of the second LP is Sap. The other side of the second LP has no music on it. It just has the etched logo That's for Alice in Chains on it. It's pretty yeah. awesome. Tampa just scored. They're up by 10 with three minutes left. Of course, they yeah, Sap has an Alice in Chains song that was on the Clerk soundtrack. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So, all right. Before, um, 
let's go. Do you want to go to the comments now, or do you? Yeah, have, let's, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I have a couple of things I want to ask you guys. Yeah, couple, let's do a couple of comments first. So, some of the top albums. So, Murph, obviously, he went all grunge, singles, jar, fly, super unknown. Uh, Tony named just Pyromania. Daniel Peoples, Appetite, Blizzard, Peace of Mind. Bill Sharp, Slide It In, Pyromania, Bon Jovi. Brad, Peace of Mind, Appetite, Pyromania. Joe Cassaro, Winger, Def Leppard, Bon Jovi. Chuck Hoskins, Peace of Mind, Pyromania, OU812. Oh, that's the first OU812 I've ever seen at that high. Yep. Half Ace, Blizzard, Pyromania, Appetite. Then Tony added Winger and Slide It In. Daniel Peoples, Bottom Three, Singles, Bon Jovi, Winger. Um, let's see. Tony Masalem says right turn is hot garbage. It is. Oh, man. you guys are you guys are idiots. We heard it the other day. We're like, oh, fucking Zeus. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is that not is hot three, garbage. What's the matter with oh three vo There's four vocalists actually on the track. Yeah, each one of them is one's better than the next. Are you fucking oh. kidding me? Oh. You, know, you know what? Just I might I might pick maybe down the road. I might pick Mad Season as a bonus album and just That's torture. That record I've tried so many times. That record is not good. I like one song. Oh, on that record. my God. What is Right Turn? What is that? It's a song Sap. from Alice yeah. in Chains it's off Sap. of Sap. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it's on Sap, and it's good. Yeah. It's got a – it's it's um, base – okay. Oh, he's got Facelift, the new 30 years. Awesome. Yep, I got that too. Beautiful. Right Turn is – Chris Cornell's on it. So you start off with Jerry Cantrell singing – you go into, uh, I think, Cornell, then Lane, or do I have him backwards? And then Mark Arm from uh, Mud Hundy sings a, a verse. And then Cornell goes off in the in Soda's Lane at the end. It's fucking insane. And then Matt, and then if you're a real grunge fan, Mad Season, it's like a grunge super group. It's got Mike McCready from Pearl Jam, Lane, yep. Sta Lane Staley, um, the drummer for Screaming Trees, Barrett Martin. Barrett Martin yeah. Yeah, it's just. But and again, if you're, if you're in that they met, it's what? some drug addict they met in rehab. To play all bass. Of like I'm playing with these guys. Yep. And what's awesome about the mad season is you don't have to do heroin because that'll make you fall asleep and it's totally legal. That is true. It look, it's not an <laughs> album that you're gonna put on for a group of people at a party. It's but you know, all right. Why would you want to yeah, that back. album ain't getting you laid, I'll tell you that. <laughs> no, it ain't. It's definitely not getting you laid. No. The extra on that is Mark Lonigan sings a bunch of songs from Screaming Trees, yep. and then he came back and finished some tracks, and they've released some stuff, some new concert footage and stuff. Mm -hmm. They didn't get to perform too much. It's awesome shit. Yep. Yep. But anyways, what I wanted to ask you guys yeah. is a couple quick things. Uh, for us, we had... Tom had Photograph as his number one song on here. So let's not look at the draft. Draft the strategy. I had no excuses. And then one of you fucking pricks took it right off the bat. And Sonny had The Trooper. So, yes, that was my first pick. And The Trooper for me is number 10. And I took that first just to, because I, you guys are all assholes. <laughs> I want to know what you guys is your favorite song off this individually. The other three. Wow. That's Why don't we start with Steve and Michael first? Oh, shit. I don't know, man. I need some time. That's a lot of songs. Well, look at your picks. If you look from there. If it was. Yeah, but I don't yeah, know if I was able to pick my favorite. Um, I can give you a couple. All right. Give me one. Who's up? Steve, you want to go first? Go ahead. What's your I number? Gotta, I got to go with Mr. Crowley. That's your favorite song? That that song, the solo, wow. and that is yep. just solo. off the I, I'm with you. Right. I can Love see it. that. Yeah, the solo. It's my favorite guitar album on this whole thing, Blizzard of yep. Oz. Yep. Dylan, what's your favorite song? I was also going to say Mr. Crowley. Um, wow. That was my favorite, but I'm going to say a, a different song just to be yeah, just to be contrarian. Uh, I'm going to go Night Train. Uh, it's probably my favorite on, on the list. Besides really? Crowley. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I really love the solo in that. And That's what yeah, he's drinking. Yeah, the solo yep. is great on that. Yep. I've always been a huge fan of Brownstone. I mean, I just I love that tune. So and the song too. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you and Sonny are very similar on that. Two songs that I think are, you know, not as popular. You know, they weren't singles and stuff. He, he Sonny, you had seven was Mr. Brownstone for you and eleven night train. Um, so Brownstone, wow. Yeah. Um, a couple of comments here. Daniel people said Rocket Queen be my top song. On this list, best song, song on the album. It's a good one. 
Yep. Danny uh, Hall. Hey, hey, I, Daniel, have you I heard the, my car while Lifeless Dead was playing? That song is that's a great song, but that you got to be half asleep to listen to that because it's a tough one. <laughs> I think he was probably poor guy. Yeah. Sorry, I got a question for, for Daniel Peoples out there. Have you heard Slash uh, featuring Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators? I always have to say that because they deserve the credit. Yeah. Um, them do that live on the, uh, I think it's the Live in the Ritz album. It's like a 17 minute version of Rocket Queen. It's fucking fantastic. Dude, Slash that, just absolutely looks insane. Turn Slash, Slash with Miles Kennedy is, those, those albums are so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like Max Lynch says, Die with your boots on is the correct yeah. answer. As wow. Bad. For what? Wow, it's the best. Holy shit. Oh, nice job Lord. there. Uh, mm -hmm. Steve's got that album up there, and Dylan left, too, so I don't know what he's getting. He was getting this album for me. I was doing yeah. all the work for him, as usual. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't ask him to. I mean, we, we don't, don't have, have to. But that's how good I am. You don't have to ask. All right. right. Here's, a, here's a fun one. I don't know if you guys know the answer to this. We, um, you know, what would you say is the worst song on this, probably, list? Um, I know... I know mine. Mom before had half. Um, I don't know if I want to give away mine. I would yeah, probably I say that. Or well, Purple Haze has got to be there, too. <laughs> but see, the, re the reason why I have half as last is because it's not even like a song. I told I you, it's like, it's, like the, it's like the music they would play during the credits of a Borat movie. Yeah. <laughs> like it's, it's, just, <laughs> it's Sun <laughs> Sonny had source of infection. This song is oh, brutal. Is on brutal. Song. Yeah, he made fun of me for picking that song on the Van Halen episode we just oh had with him on Source of Infections is and, it, and that's BB's favorite song. Oh. All right. What about you guys? Do you have anything that you want to say is like the worst song that comes to mind? Oh, absolutely. They're hands down for me. May this be love. Fucking <laughs> Worst that easy listening Jimi Hendrix song oh, is the worst song. Wow, fucking terrible. <laughs> he doesn't like Hendrix. It's uh, it's a flaw. Oh wow. What about you, uh, Dylan? What do you got? So I, I know it's not actually the worst song, but the song that I I hate when it comes on is "Slide It In." Even though it was one of my picks. Why? Wow. The reason for that. And here's the reason for it was that Dad had it as. It hit the ringtone for my mom for the longest time, <laughs> and it scarred me for life with that song. Fucking, that's like therapy time, what the <laughs> right? Right? Nobody's mom should have slid it in. No, it, yeah, it, was, yeah. <laughs> it was horrifying. It wasn't good. Oh man! By the oh, way, man. by the by the way, Drew Brees just threw another pick. It is four minutes left, and the Bucks are up thirty to twenty. Game over. All Same right. Thing. Saints have four turnovers. Um, Steven, what do you got, buddy? For the worst song, man, I don't know. I'd have to go with something off of like Jar of Flies. There's some stuff on there that I don't like or the single soundtrack. But I can't I can't point out a particular song. Is there any song that you know that you're familiar with? Do you like this song sucks? <sighs> no. I mean I can't. I I'd be lying if I said if I just threw something out there. So Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Light Chuck it. Hoskins, we love you, Chuck. You're trying to get us to listen to Iced Earth <laughs> while te while telling us that Super Unknown is the whole is the worst the whole album. So I don't know, man. It's a good thing we have kids. It's a good thing that we have funny. kids to us together. It. But oh man, <laughs> I thought that too. But I listened to it and I thought it was not great, but not horrible. I just have to listen to it some more. But I, there wasn't a lot of really good stuff on there. Yep. Yeah. That's great. Yep. All right. Well, guys, this was fun. Any other last thoughts anybody wants to say? But wait, well, uh, yeah, as far as this draft is concerned, any other final thoughts? I thought it was fun. Um, some songs not so fun. Other songs, um, some fun songs, some songs that made you want to, uh, you know, take a bottle of pills or something and lay down and go to sleep and with a bottle of vodka. But, um, <laughs> you drafted one of them, Chloe Dancer. Oh, no, wait, the other guy. Oh, that was that was me. Me. That's a great song. You're an idiot. Oh, rocks. All right. an, to somebody who talks about melody all the time. <laughs> but it, is, it is, but like our, our podcast, we, we do pretty much hard rock metal. It is cool to listen to other stuff. And and actually, that's why I really like having Dylan on our podcast. He's really the heart and soul of our podcast. He's the one that kind yeah, of Dylan. brings us metalheads down to earth once in a while and throws in something different and, you know, has a, has a good on there. 
What? There's like 15 Steves on this. I don't know. Yeah. Your phone started echoing out of nowhere. <laughs> That's probably because I'm talking out. It's bleeding into Dylan's microphone. But uh, so, I, 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 I'm, so I'm glad to branch out a little bit once in a while. So quick question before we kind of wrap up here. So it kind of like Zeus kind of already asked it a little bit, but I guess. So Steve, Dylan, and Steven, if you could pick an album for us to do as a bonus, what would you pick? Steve, Steve. If we, started taking, if, we, if we started taking listener suggestions, what would no, you do? No, no. No, I know, no, no, no. I know. No. I'm just saying if we if we did. I, I would have two. I would have okay. a ball busting one. It would be Sabotage, Follow the Mountain King. Okay. Zeus what, would says be, that what, what, what would be the real one? But <laughs> the one I would actually like to see you guys do would be uh, like Cinderella Night Songs. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> Long Dylan, Winter Winter's a better album. But go no, ahead. it is not. Yes, it, it is, is. Dylan, not you. Close. Um, have you guys done any anthrax? By no, we have not. Oh, thank God. No, oh, stop it. Anthrax is great. <laughs> among um, the living. <laughs> yeah, among the living or state of euphoria for sure. Those okay. are the two that I would throw out there. Had, uh, Charlie Benante on. Last Charlie week. was just on our most recent episode for us with Jerry. Yep. On the white noise. That's a great album. Yes, that is good. Album. That. Steven, what about you? See, I personally think with the three of you characters that it would be great to do something that you're either none of you are familiar with or, uh, well, really something like that and venture out, like I said earlier, venture out into other things other than the hard rock. But if you're going to do something, do something like Steve said, sabotage, something that you guys aren't that uh, familiar with. I think it would be funner, the commentary. Like romance the yeah. Black Parade. Comedy. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking fantastic album. Comedy. That's great. I think eventually, Stephen, you bring up a good point. Maybe eventually we will we will do something. I think it would be fun if we did do an album that like the three of us either don't know at all or are not familiar with, and then we spend like three weeks listening to it and then do a review of eventually maybe we will do something like that. Mm. I find that no offense, guys. I think uh mine a little bit more daring. It took Bon Jovi knowing I know Tom, you don't really know it. I took yeah. Super, you know, and that's not really daring because you know it now that I think about it. I know you love Soundgarden in singles, but I know yeah. Sonny, I'm, I'm going to get shit from him picking those. And Bon Jovi, I think what we should be doing is, you know, when, when it comes to our own personal picks, then we just get venturous. That's all. Right. Don't, no, don't you're right. Like you, an album that you like that you wouldn't expect people to love. You yeah, like. Sonny loves Prince. Put Prince on one time if you want. Mm -hmm. um, Tom, you want to? I love. I love Prince too. I would do that in a minute. Yeah. I, I mean, I like Prince, but I don't fucking have his music. I can hear it on the radio. If we did, if we ever did something outside of the genre, the first thing I would do would be like Beastie Boys or Public Enemy. I would never do that right mm -hmm. now, but that would be. Yeah. That would I be, mean, it, it's tough though because hip hop is the. Like, it's just a different audience that we have at this point. I'm not. No, I agree. Fans. Yeah, I agree. So it's hard to say. Let's do. We both uh, have roots in hard rock and heavy metal, though. But, straight, but, out of, straight out of Compton. We can't I would do that. I would challenge you guys and say it's not necessarily about the album you do. It's about the three of you. Thank you, Stephen, because I kind of agree that the, yeah. the, the, there's there are shows out there that do things that are kind of off. You know, kind of like a little off the wall, and you're right. Yeah, it, it, but the I'm more right. see, see, that's what I've been saying this since day one, and I'll say it again. It's we've all done album reviews. We've all done yep. similar things with similar bands, and and when I say we, I'm not even just talking about the three of these podcasts. I'm talking about everybody else out there, the Decibel Geeks and all yep. these other people. It's not necessarily about the actual content. It's about the people that are giving their opinions and talking about it. Uh, so it, that's, what, that's what singles it out. I've been I mean, saying that for a long time. That that's what separates. Like that, it, it's that, that's why I subscribe to so many different podcasts. And I've been saying that I'm like the content of the topic is one thing, but it's the hosts and their personalities mm -hmm. and their humor and their knowledge that are going to fucking assholes though. that are going to direct you to what show you want to listen to. And it depends it's on the, what mood you're in too. If you want to listen to an album review, if you want to listen to like a like an album review and have them really break down the album. Okay, you listen to that. If you want a little bit of craziness, you know, maybe come to us or another show or whatever. But uh, here's yeah. the thing: I, you, you're, you're still 
this we uh, I at least I think most of us we do this because it's fun. Absolutely. Okay? No doubt. That's so the number one thing. It's fun if one of us really is passionate about something. If all of us are like, I don't know, I guess we're doing culture club this week. That's not fun for me. Like, is Why that not? fun for you guys? Like, it's not. Uh, unless Sonny's like, dude, I used to dress like Boy George. I, I still do. I have posters of him. I still do. Before him, this is my guy. So if that's it, then I want to hear Sonny defend that to me. That's what makes it fun. Yeah. Not and then you can shit it. on him. Yeah, <laughs> you will shit on him. But the point is, like, it's not fun if Sonny's like, ah, dude, this song sucks. No, 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 no. This song is the worst. Okay, let's go to the next one. Yeah, this song sucks too. Yeah, that's I why know. I'm not doing a Rush album. That's not. That's no, why I'm not going to no. pick a Rush the album. Difference, the difference is, though, like you. I, I mean, we'll be honest with you. I can't imagine me hating everything. So it'll be yeah. interesting if I'm you to hear what I like. You didn't think I was going to like Load, yet you here you are. The best part about that album review, and we still talk about, it, is that we like the same song as our number one pick. Right. Right. But you're passionate about it and you defend it. That makes it interesting for me. Yeah. It's no, you're not right. interesting if we all just sit there and go, hey, do you do you like Kiss? No. Yeah, I like Kiss. <laughs> you, you do. Yeah. Destroyer's awesome. Yeah, it's a good album. Like, or vice versa. Or, 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 like, or like you said, vice versa. If, if we're all just like, yep, that sucks. Yep, <laughs> the band blows. No, yeah. no, no, it doesn't suck. It's the fucking worst thing of all time. It, Oh no it's, no! It's even worse than that. Like, it's always yeah, good when, when I think when you gotta have an open mind with shit it. on something yeah. because that that's like like ours. Like we we have uh, myself, BC, and BB. We're all pretty much the same age. We have Dylan that's twenty five years younger than us, yeah. and which is surprising that like BB shits on me more than anyone else on the podcast. <laughs> Get his ass, he <laughs> bad. And He's BB's right. right most of the time. By the way. So, <laughs> Dave. <laughs> but here's what I like. You know what's fun? And we could do a game of this. If you do like the six separation degrees or whatever. Yep. Because we all have an ally with some band and fucking hate that person's band too at the same time. Yep. So me and Sonny are very aligned with this anti rush shit. Yep. But then he'll give me shit about whatever, about uh uh Alice in Change or Soundgarden or, or the single soundtrack. And vice versa, where Tom and Sonny may agree on, I don't know, what what do you guys Winger. agree on? Winger. The Winger album. And what do you disagree with? Everything else. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Steve, Literally same thing. everything else. Steve, there's no. some shit that I know we you talk about that we agree that we both like. And yet, you know, the first thing I'll say to you every time is like, oh, sorry, it's not sabotage. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, now it's sorry, it's not Kansas. <laughs> what? What Thanks was Dylan for that? What was the episode that we did on Growing Up Rock where you two came on and we we uh, hated stuff? Oh yeah. yeah, that was the Eagles, the Scorpions. Oh, bands, it was bands that other people love that you don't like. That's right. That yeah. that was yeah. fun because that, that was, was a little bit of love and hate. Yeah, yeah. Well, me and you like the Eagles. Mm -hmm. But I fucking some of the shit you tell me you like, I'm like, I, I I can't I can't deal with it. It's just so fucking horrible. <laughs> yeah, but like I I like like when when Sonny picked like Peace of Mind, I was like, oh man. But I I like the album. But when he when Sonny picked Winger, we said it at the beginning of the episode. It was like crickets because we thought he was joking. <laughs> <laughs> and then and, and then and then and now and now I'm glad he picked it because I never owned the album before and I legitimately I really enjoy that album top to bottom for the most part except for Poison Angel like everybody else. I, I think I still have the text somewhere. He finally got to uh, I think Quest for Fire, and the text oh. said, "Is this about fucking dinosaurs?" <laughs> <laughs> that song sucks. Brutal. So bad. But I like it. I think my favorite it, fun episodes was Load and uh, Peace of Mind because I didn't own those albums. I've heard them yeah. before, but I didn't If you own take them. the dinosaur out of Quest for Fire, it is fucking good song. Take out to Tame a Land, too. It sounds like a like a magic school bus song. <laughs> sounds like a chicken. Stop it. Um, no, but, um, but, I don't agree with um, you um, with, um, with um, the um, table land. The Dream Theater version is fantastic. The Iron Maiden version is fantastic. Dream Theater. All right, Dylan. 
Yeah. Oh, hey, uh, Kyra Sedgwick uh, is making a comeback. She's got a uh, yeah, her, her new show. Yeah, yeah. Call yeah, she, your mom. It was good. Yeah. I saw it the other day. Yeah, she looks old. I just saw her today on that old. fucking movie. What's the movie where The Rock is the quarterback? Uh, game plan. Game plan. Yes. Oh my yeah. god! I just started today on TV. My daughter used to love that movie. The game plan. Yeah, he looks like a real quarterback. The Rock. Yeah. Jack like this. I must throw a football. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. But yeah. So guys, anyways, please. Um, let's go down the line. Uh, tell us part of the hell first. Go ahead, Don. I. Yeah. Well, thanks for having us on. First off, uh, we're the Potter Than Hell podcast. You can check us out on Facebook. We're on a- Apple Podcasts, Spotify, all that stuff. Uh, we basically do hard rock, heavy metal. If you haven't heard us before, usually I'm in disagreement with everybody else, but you know, nice. comes with being as young as I am. But it's a fun time. We have a lot of awesome guests, like all these fine gentlemen here, and we come out every Friday at noon, and you could uh, listen to us there. Awesome. Great show. Great show. Steven. Thank you, guys. Steven, Steven tell everybody. You. Yep. Uh, the Grown Up Rock Podcast. Myself and uh, idiot to my left. That <laughs> Your other left. <laughs> Everything's turned around. This guy. More like that. <laughs> You're the Brady Bunch. Yeah. Uh, hard Rock and Metal Podcast as well. Um, we focus on themed episodes and then... We have guests on as well uh, and do interviews every so often. Uh, we release every Sunday, and you can check us out. There's almost 200 episodes out there, so check Ooh. it out. See, that's perfect. And that wasn't even organized. You got Potter Than Hell on Fridays, Shout It Out Loudcast on Saturdays, Growing Up Rock on Sundays. There goes your weekend right there. Perfect timing. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, and we're Shout Out Loudcast. So if, you, if you're checking out this live stream for the first time and you're not familiar with, with us, we're an all kiss podcast. We drop episodes every Saturday, but once a month we do these bonus episodes that we've been talking about tonight uh, that are all non kiss because myself, Zeus, and Sonny all love all this other kind of rock, metal, grunge, whatever. Um, so check us out. And, um, you know, we're thankful for everybody that watched and interacted. You know, we do this for, uh, for the viewers, for you guys to chime in with comments and, and, jokes and funny stuff and that's what makes it fun for all of us so thank you to thank you to all the viewers and thank you zeus steve dylan steven sunny dylan welcome first time here we had a great time awesome yeah, thanks for having me yep we got all the guys now uh, the whole crew awesome Good stuff. guys thank you very much and as usual peace out girl scout and broadcast now